Many young adults did not have to go very far to spend Thanksgiving with their families because of the pandemic. Pew Research says a majority of them are already living with their parents. Nearly 3 million U.S. adults moved back in with their parents or grandparents in March and April. We spoke with a few of them. Laura Hopkins left a teaching job in Mexico to move in with her parents in California. Eric Rivera left Brooklyn, New York, after he was laid off and moved in with his parents in New Jersey. Will Francis left L.A. to move back home with his parents in Alabama. And Chrissy Walker left New York City to work from her parents' home in Texas. First, it was really fun. It felt really special. We got to celebrate days that I'm usually not here for, and it felt nice. And then it got old. Cool life. Almost all of my immediate family was able to come back home for the first couple months. It was almost like being in middle school again. Uh, I was able to play video games with my brother. I learned how to make sourdough bread. It's tough, but uh, very, very rewarding. After being away from home for quite a while, I feel like I've kind of regressed back to my teenage years. I'm back in my childhood home, in my childhood bedroom. I have chores again, so I'm responsible for the dishwasher, getting the plates. If I'm out with friends and I'm just having a couple of drinks, my kind of initial reaction is to sneak in. But now I keep reminding myself like, Eric, you're 30. Over here is my work from home setup. One of the perks of moving back home would just be that. I have a lot more time for myself. I don't have to commute, so I've definitely been a lot more productive. Before COVID, there wasn't really this tradition of group FaceTime calls, and but now I've got um, a group of friends that does it once a week. I have not cooked a meal for myself probably in the past like four months. One of the biggest highs about being home now is being able to spend more time with friends and family. I'm home for people's birthdays, my friends, children's baptisms, and special occasions. Just little simple moments that I was kind of missing out on. I just moved to a new city by myself. I've definitely kind of found my independence. Moving back in with my parents was not something that was on my game plan for any point ever, really. The hardest thing was just not being ready to say goodbye to what my life was like before. I don't know when I'll be back and so kind of just accepting um, this new reality and um, just going with it. Definitely the hardest part is the um, uncertainty, not knowing how long, how severe it would be, how much it would affect like the economy and, and job opportunities. It's hard to make goals or plans when you just don't know the, what the state of the world will be. When I was in the city, a lot of my friends were laid off or furloughed, so we'd kind of be able to figure out what our next plans are and how can we help each other. So being home, it's a little polarizing away from that world. You kind of start spiraling out of like, am I ever going to move out of this house? I just found myself with no real options other than moving back home for a little while. These are very uncertain times um, and you know I'm just trying to get through it. My dad now gets the fact that when the door is closed he shouldn't come in. Thanks dad! But I teach right in front of a window and so he'll always come in and like wave um, and I'm just like okay literally okay. Avocado toast. My basic day consists of getting up really early since I, I teach in Mexico City it's a two hour difference. It's hard but the kids make it worth it. <laughs> Feeling mad because of the coronavirus. The coronavirus, it makes you mad. Got it. I really appreciated this time working from home. And I want to, you know, take that kind of authority over my life back with me to New York and this good work life balance that I've curated. I'm generally pretty excited and optimistic about life post pandemic. I'm still hopeful about finding a job and moving out on my own again, but that timeline's a moving target. I'm hopeful that, you know, things will go back to semi-normal or whatever this new normal will be, but that's just what time will tell. Yeah, no, it's, always go home. it's well, some people can. And I think that's what's really great about this story is the fact that they have a place to go at a time where some people are just 
still trying to figure it out? Or That is a great yeah. point. Yeah. It really is. My son never left. Like so many freshmen who had to go virtual for college, he, yeah. his friends, it's tough for them. Really You're going to have to wait just a little bit longer, Yeah, Michelle. you, you like, know. Bamboos. <laughs> yeah, thank God for Russell and Jonathan, his, his pod. Right, you right. know, yeah. so thank you.